funny to me. Okay, it's cool. <laughs> Alright. Sitting on a sidewalk, listening to the melodic beats, work beat, and feet as they crack the sound there. One step, music done the concrete, drum set, eyes drawn to me. It must be captivating. Feeding me your curiosity, discuss food for the brain, all the same in your eyes. I can see the depression in you that you think is in me. Let me enlighten you. I was born under a flamboyant sun, covered by coconut trees where the earth meets the breeze. Where black is not a color but a priority, I escape the fate of religious slavery. Listen, let my vocal vibrations penetrate your walls. I'm here to captivate your mind. I'm here to captivate your mind with. Damn it. <laughs> I forgot. With. What is that? <laughs> yeah, I literally <laughs> forgot my phone now. <laughs> I didn't write. The unlocks prison doors and destroys changing shackles. Mad at me because I'm free. Drift the chick, cruising with the birds, listening to the earth's words because she always seems to know. And you, laughing at me, oppressed by your own greed, engaged in a minimum wage rage, locked in the same cage, crying inside. Beautiful as life could be, wearing the same blonde wig, dating the same pig, living the same life. Bet you want to die. Let's find a solution. Liberation is a sensation. Liberation is a sensation. Is it? Uh, fuck it up. <laughs> Liberation is a sensation where you realize size, illusions, and lies. Happiness is not a privilege, but an obligation. Step outside your perimeters and feel that sensation. If you want it, reach for it. Taking a seat on a hard concrete, watching the lies. Mad at me because I'm free. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> why do you do your poetry? Huh? Why do we? Why like? Why do you do poetry? Like, what I'm do you? Poet. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what inspires you to life. express that? Um, life inspires me. There's so many things going on in this world that right now are people completely oblivious to. Mm -hmm. It's just like, when it comes to art in general, it's what I want to do. I just want to open people's eyes towards like what's really going on in their neighborhoods, in their backyards, in front of them. <laughs> like Most people can't even see their feet anymore. It's so disgusting. But they're all they're all so like entangled with all this garbage that when they don't realize is that realize like simple things like we're losing our natural resources, everybody. What's money? What's a dollar gonna be worth when you can't buy food because there is none? <laughs> you know? So what do you think our future is like? What do you think our future will be like? I mean, our future. I really have no hope for the future right now if things really don't start changing because it's scary out here. You look at kids, like, I'm looking at the generations to come now, like, you, look, you look at little kids listening to, like, Nicki Minaj and, like, you know, trying to, like, you know, act like her, dress like her, just like, why are we allowing our kids to, like, want to be like this person who's completely fake, you know? Why is this what they should emulate? This is not right. <laughs> like, I can't... It aggravates me when I go to neighborhoods like this and I see more black women with, like, weaves going down their fucking backs except for the natural hair that comes out of their head. Like, they act like it's not beautiful, you know? Because I grew up in... I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and I grew up in a school where it was just, like, to be beautiful, you had to have big boobs and you had to have, you know, this perfect size that was just like kind of ridiculous for a 12 year old girl <laughs> but all, all the hormones the hormones in our food right now I guess it's not anymore <laughs> it's so ridiculous just like why are we teaching our kids to be like this and act like this this shit's not necessary teach them to love themselves and who they are it's all everyone should love I don't care if you wear a wig but just remember that the hair that comes out your head is more beautiful than that wig you know? That's all I'm about, just being you. And people might not understand why I'm on the street right now, but I'm on the street to get my head clear because I don't want to step into this world until, because I don't want anyone to try to corrupt me. Because I feel like I'm still in a weak state right now. Because when I, because I want to be, an, I'm an artist. And all I want to do right now is put my art out there. And I, when I'm ready to step out in the world and put my art, I'm going to make sure I have a strong ass foundation and no one can bend that motherfucking stand foundation. Exactly. That's it. That's it. No one can bend it. That's it. That's all. What's your name? I'm Roxy. Hi. R O X Y? Yeah. Alright, I'll put this on. And this is your story. Oh. No! <laughs> I just want to get your book. Can I see it? It scares me. <laughs> What's your name? Kaylin. <laughs> Alright. So, awesome, guys.